Hi, Robin Symes here with uh, just a lesson recently. Good player, but uh, was struggling with uh, distance. Said he was hitting the ball straight, but not far enough. So let me just show you what we did. Very simple lesson. We, we definitely got an extra 10 or 15 meters here quite easily. So really what I said to him, if we look at the top, there's very little coiling, very little turn. It's more like just a lift of the arms. You might not be able to see that that clearly here, but I think when you see the after one, you'll notice a big difference. So let me show you the after. It's not going to take that long to explain. What I said to him is that his head position, his nose, points too much at the golf ball at address, and then it stays there too much. Now, most people's head only, if you try to rotate your head, keeping your shoulders still, you'll only be able to rotate your neck maybe 70 degrees. So if you keep your head still, you'll only be able to rotate your shoulders 70 degrees. Have a look the next time you're watching on TV. You'll see most good players have quite a lot of head, not a reasonable amount of head rotation in their swing to allow them to rotate their shoulders. So I asked him to point his nose a little bit more to the right side of the golf ball of the dress and then let his nose move with his shoulders. So now you'll see big differences. His nose is pointing a lot more over his, you know, towards his right toe rather than the center of his feet. And that created a huge difference in how he was able to rotate his upper body. I guess it's not, hopefully it's not going to take me to explain that much, just how much more powerful that looks on the right. It's a lot better. He's got a lot more shoulder turn. He's, he's coiling better. It's not even he's got more shoulder turn. He's coiling better. He's here. He was actually lifting and tilting slightly. Not a good way to create speed. So from here, he just instantly created more speed, was able to hit the ball a little bit more in the upswing too. Two things that can help you hit the, hit the driver further. So it's a very common fault I see with people trying to look at the golf ball too much, especially with uh, amateur golfers. Their head position is too central at the dress and then they keep their eyes fixed on the ball too much. You've got to let your head move a little bit. Um, try and, if you're right eye dominant, try to close your right eyes because sometimes our, our right eyes fixed on the ball so much it really doesn't allow our head and neck to rotate in the swing, helping us rotate correctly. So really simple lesson, but I think it's a, an important lesson for people. It can also, if you're somebody who just lifts your arms, cuts the ball, comes down on an outside plane, this is something you can also help you a lot. So simple lesson, check your head position at address and allow your head to move a little bit in the swing to facilitate a good shoulder turn. Helps speed and helps you swing the club on plane.